This is a planned video brought to you by Rookser. A planned video is basically a video he puts together ahead of time to put in place of a video that usually takes place the day before. But in this case, he had to plan it because he's out of fucking town! What's up, YouTube? What's up, What's up, everybody else? My name is Rickster, and welcome to. Well, <laughs> it's essentially a motor vlog on vlog day. <laughs> so, as most of you all know, I have been planning on going to AIM Expo. The reasons are as follows. First and foremost, it's to meet my favorite motor vlogger, Suburban Delinquent. Secondly, it's because it's about motorcycle shit. Thirdly, the club is supposed to be there, and it's pretty cool to meet him. Fourth, I work in the motorcycle industry. AIM Expo is for all the manufacturers and stuff, gear and motorcycles alike, to show off all of the next year's lineups. So in this case, all the 2018 lineups. The new helmet graphics, the new helmet models, new jacket graphics or de uh, designs and models and, and uh, shit like that. Gloves, pants, boots, and motorcycles! tires and shit and stuff and there's gonna be some dealers there. there's a big x over there there's gonna be some dealers and stuff over there and it's gonna be a lot of fun man so we're gonna have us a great time i'm gonna have the vlogging camera going the whole time i'm trying to get a woman joshi to go with me so he can run some b-roll and then we're gonna have some stuff and it's gonna be great and i'm gonna hump suburban delinquent's leg don't know if I'm gonna catch it on camera because if the Lumajasi doesn't go, I'm not gonna have anybody to run the fucking camera for me. So the last vlog that I recorded, not that I edited, but recorded, something fun happened, but the vlog is not gonna be entertaining enough to show you all the entire video. So what I'm gonna do is show you all my favorite clip from it. It's so much fun. Now to precede this, I'm on my way to work and I see this Harley it's kind of driving a little sporadic. I'm like, what the fuck? And of course, he doesn't have a helmet on or anything. There's only like five Harley riders in the world that wear helmets. Lee Stewart's one of them, my cousin's another. And I'm coming up behind him as we're going down the road, and he sits there and like, his hat almost falls off. He's wearing a flat belt hat. It's like a Jixer bro on a Harley. He's got short sleeve shirt, t-shirt, a uh, flat belt hat, shorts. I think he was wearing flip-flops. No, he wasn't. He was actually wearing boots or something. I don't know. Anyway, I had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth like a typical Harley rider. And, like, his hat almost falls off. And I'm like, well, if you were wearing a helmet, you wouldn't have to worry about that because, you know, you'd, your hat would be in your saddlebags or in your belt or something, and your helmet would be strapped to your head and wouldn't almost fall off. And then I pull up, and it's like an ugly fucking street glide that is matte painted black and gray and it's got a skull on it all the speakers are busted out the gauges are cracked the fucking uh mirrors are cracked on it he can barely use them and i'm like what the f i don't even understand how somebody can be proud to go out on a bike like that i'm behind him all of a sudden i just popped the one of the biggest wheelies i ever had and he sees it and he gets upset. So he starts splitting lanes and weaving through traffic. I'm like, I could do that too. I'm on a skinnier bike than you. So I start doing it. And then I pass him. Next thing you know, I look in my rear view and he's like right up on my ass as he's changing lanes. I don't really appreciate that too much. So we're stopped at the next light and he decides, I'm gonna race. <laughs> I'm preloading. It's basically like launch control, running up to two grand and just as the light's about to turn green. Light turns green and he just does this massive rolling burnout takeoff. And I mean, he takes off faster than me because I have to worry about my front end coming up, even though it's a katana. So once I get traction and I'm going, I just let go of the left arm, the left grip, and just start quick shifting. And, I mean, he would have had me in the eighth, probably would have had me in the quarter, mainly because, you know, my clutch is slipping and shit like that. But as he's taken off from me in the beginning, he flips me off, 
saw as I jumped the railroad tracks right next to him and passed him, I flip him off while I'm doing like 130. So here's the clips, enjoy it, and I'll probably see you all after work. You know, if you wore a helmet, you wouldn't have to worry about your hat flying off. Because it would be in a saddlebag or maybe your, your belt or something like that. Instead of being a fucking squid with your piece of shit. Oh yeah, boys. We in. Somebody's having some trouble keeping up because they're too fucking wide. <laughs> oh, look who caught up. Can you do that cool stuff on yours? Nah. Hmm. Let's see, what am I going to do to get away from annoying guys? Thing should be a crime. <laughs> so don't want to flip me off because I'm not on a real bike. Riders like that just they entertain me. That is it. That's all they do is entertain me. Do a normal takeoff and then do race and takeoff. Like take it all the way to seven. But really it's the one to four area when you're taking off. Yeah. No fucking handbrake. Somebody's recording today. Day two. Day three. Uh. Hey, now he's ready. Oh man, it was a boring day. <laughs> uh, so I hope y'all like that little uh, intermission or little, little inner thing that happened with a, a Harley and and stuff along with me riding a spider that was interesting as hell <laughs> never shall we die huh that's, that's interesting where's he at <laughs> Like not a, I had a lot of pros, prospective customers, but ended up ending, uh, leading to nothing because you know they, they didn't buy. So yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, as I said in the beginning of the video, I am going to be in Columbus Ex Columbus Expo at the AIM Ohio. I'm going to be at Columbus Ohio at the AIM Expo, which is the American International Motorcycle Exposition Center thing that stuff. It's going to be fun! <laughs> it was fun. That girl looking at me while I was sitting up on the tank, she's all like, What the hell is he doing? Oh my god. He's so dangerous.
That's going to do it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe, share these videos out with all your friends, family, and even the people you don't care about. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I really want you. I want you. And even though I can't forgive you, I really want you. Creature. That's it.